see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hit and love. Scanny ass bitch there. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy LV Skinny. Today, today I'm here. Well, I've been seeing about this on Twitter. It's this producer named Milan Makes Beats. I think that's like his producer tag. But yeah, he's just been exposing uh, his DMs with Cardi, basically like, yo, yo, Cardi, can I can I get my money, bro? And Cardi's like, nigga, fuck you. Where you at? I'ma fuck you up. I don't know. I don't know the full story, but that's what we're seeing. But I don't know. Um, before the video starts, I'm a I'm a rapper, I'm a producer, videographer, all that shit. I do all that. If you if I can understand if he gave it if he gave the beat free first and then it blow up, I kinda do feel like I'm on both sides kinda, cause like if you gave it free, the fuck why are you trying to double back on me because you see I'm getting success with it? You probably gave that beat to other people for free. And you ain't want shit from them. But you see, I'm the one who put my voice onto it and produced that money income. But I do feel like just out of respect, he should like throw him some bread, something. But I don't feel like he about to throw him shit after all this Twitter talk. Like, But yeah, I'm about to just get into the video. Shout out to Diamonds Live. He reported on it. So I'm about to just see what see what he's saying in it. What's see up, fans? Welcome anything. back to the channel. And shout out to the notification gang. Gang, gang. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Because this is what we do. And we do it daily. He do do it so daily. Shout support. out to him. So we got to talk about this, man. And shout out to Bunk. Now, you guys uh, are tweeting me this. I found out about it. I went over to his Insta snap and he posted man, he our video. I found that pretty cool, I mean, man. He kicked the club about security. emphasis on what I was saying, man. You never know who is watching, right? I'm sure I'd have pissed off a few rappers. You know, it's all jokes. I'm just a YouTube guy. You got to think about that, man. Right, when a video YouTube gets 20,000, 50,000, or 100,000, or even a million views, I'll like, that's a lot of people watching, man. Hell. Your damn mama could be watching daily in another room, man. You never know. That's some real cool, shit, though, because my mom has watched a couple a of my nervous, videos man, and said something about, about it. You never know who's now, watching. What the hell, mama? So I got a story for you guys, and it sort of ties into what I was just saying. Like, right. You never know who's watching. But then again, I feel that this platform and platforms like mine should be used for the people who don't have voices. Real what I'm shit. trying to say is... There's a lot of people that are trying to come up from SoundCloud, maybe YouTube. They're rapping, they're producing. See, and before he even said, I feel because SoundCloud, you on your own and all that other other platforms. But then there's the rappers like that can get on to Elevator or Locker Films, exclusive, um, Cole Bennett, whatever. Like they got that outlet. Like it's plenty of. There's plenty of people saying real shit, speaking real shit, speaking real facts and everything, but not everyone has that outlet. Milan has, I have been seeing him on Twitter, and he has been speaking like some real shit, showing DMs and everything, like, come on bro, just pay the money. Cardi trying to find out where he live and everything, like, mm. They're being taken know, advantage of by other rappers and producers and record labels, and a lot of them don't know, or maybe they try with other people. I don't know, but they should have a voice with people like me who make YouTube videos. They should be able to come to us and tell us their story, and we can put the information out there. Yeah, Duke Cardi, Cardi, Cardi do need to speak ago, up on it. And I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of slow to this story. Every other day, he's been giving me information about it. And you know me, I'm just so busy pumping out videos and stuff. But So Milan has told me that Playboy Cardi has threatened his life and people close to him just for the simple fact that he wanted credit and compensation for the beats that he One created that Playboy Cardi right? has been using. He, he, he so this is how this whole thing started, right? Malone created a pack of beats, right? He got a bunch of beats, put them inside this pack, and he had a bunch of samples that he created. He sent this pack out to a bunch of artists, right? And somehow... This pack ends up making his way to Playboy Cardi. That's when Cardi starts to use these beats 
He's creating snippets. He's putting out videos. And these videos, of course, is building his brand, right? Now, while he's putting out these snippets and he's using Milan's beats, he then uses one of the beats and creates a song called V-Lung Thug. Now, keep in mind, this whole process has been over a two-year span. This pack was created two years ago. But also keep in mind that most artists usually put out albums between one or two years. You know what I'm saying? Like, not everyone's future in putting out albums every six that months. Future. That ain't future. <laughs> Music right. takes time to make. Through this whole two-year process, Milan is being told by Cardi and the label allegedly that he's going to be on Cardi's up-and-coming album, right? So the record label hits him up, and they're playing all these different songs that Cardi has on his album and stuff, and they're trying to find out which beat is his, right? Now keep in mind, during this time, right, Cardi's still using these beats to promote himself. He's doing freestyles, all that kind of stuff over these beats. Cardi's album comes out, and Milan is nowhere on the album. So Milan is pissed off. He's like, yo, what's going on? You told me I was going to be on the album. So Milan is like, yo, what's the deal? Can I get a sweatshirt? Can I get some credit? Can I get some money for you using my beats over the past two years? And um, you... Well, one thing I'm going to say about that, if it wasn't on the album, like an album, which is something that people pay for, then nah, Milan shouldn't get no royalties. He shouldn't. He shouldn't get none of that. But I do understand the fact that because I seen Milan saying like he's out doing tours and performing, doing the song that he produced, making money off that. But at the same time, it's not like he's only that's his only hit song. Like that's his only song that he's doing off of. Like I'm pretty sure he's making hella money off damn Magnolia, fucking. Uh, I can't even think of the other shit. It's him and Uzi. Like, I'm pretty sure. If if it ain't on the album, I don't. I don't. Let me keep listening. Still using my beat to perform at your show. Now asking for compensation or something. This whole thing took a left turn. Cardi allegedly started to reach out to other people, trying to find out where Milan makes beats. Actually, stays. He told one guy. Yo, bro, is Milan in North or South Carolina? Some guy responds to him with, I don't know why. Then he goes, I don't know that nigga. Then Cardi responded back with, I'll pay you. Find out where he stay at. Call me. Then old dude responds with, Bruh, that's hella sus. Hey, sus. I ain't gonna tell you his info. Then Cardi responds back with, Fuck you. That, that, now, that, that ain't sus. It ain't like he was trying to motherfucking get his number to motherfucking link with him. And this nigga Cardi was trying to find that nigga's address and motherfucking do 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 do. Like what? This nigga Cardi was. Thanks, son. That's what the fuck that nigga talking Think about. Think it's even crazy because he goes, I'm going to find you. You a bitch. I'm going to kill you and Milan and Benz. Damn. That's on Gweed, bitch. He's talking about young Benz. You a stain. You lame as hell, bro. Now, this is the conversation that Milan sent me of him and Cardi, right? He tells Cardi, you rapped over Purchase your tracks today. Now, well, Milan is referring to the pack that he sent out that Cardi got. It had samples on them that said, Purchase your track today. Purchase your track today. And producers usually put that over their beats so they can't be stolen. And Cardi was just rapping over those. So he goes... What did I do to you? And Cardi goes, can't wait till I see you, bitch. Uh -huh. Then he goes, bro, you stole from me. And I wanted credit and royalties and to work. You tripping. Stop hitting me up. Then Cardi responds back with, I'm going to find you, little bitch. Fuck everybody who love you. You a peon. That now nigga the Cardi just replied on like says, some irrelevant shit. He ain't bitch, really, I can't he, he ain't really say nothing back to his shit. He just said what the fuck was on his mind. Like, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna get at you. Like, like, it wasn't even like, man, man, I can I can help you. I just don't want to pay for the, nah, he was like, nigga, I'm gonna find you. Nigga, fuck that. Nigga, I ain't paying for them beats. Nigga, I'm gonna kill you, nigga. Catch, y'all slipping. Don't drop shit with me. All y'all shit on everything, I'll find you. <laughs> yeah, I'll I find will you. have niggas at y'all house today. Try me. I'm in the UK. I'm bored. Hey, I will gladly sit to the UK. Fuck you and Young Bands. 
pussy. I got a Bull said he was salty. Young Connor, yeah, and he wouldn't even send him a goddamn sweatshirt. So, you know, this whole situation is crazy. And I would love to hear what Cardi has to say on this whole thing. But you can't yeah, take someone's page, right? Me. Re-edit them or whatever you want to do and create a song. And you're performing that song from here to there. And you're not going to pay the producer. Like You can't do that. Imagine if someone took your beat and performed everywhere with your beat. Never put it on their album. But they used yeah, to perform, just... never credit you. And you got nothing to show for it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll be very pissed too. But that. hey, man, it is what it is. I'm a Hopefully, producer. Cardi comes out and responds. I mean, I'll just situation. be giving out beats for free. Uh, like, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. God dang. It happens. You see, my fucking all these beats on YouTube, free type beat or this that if you put a beat up on YouTube, it is gonna get used. You're not gonna get paid for it. Nobody gives a fuck. The niggas is gonna get in the comment section and put their fucking lyrics like no one gives a fuck. In the today's age, producers don't they don't get the respect. They need the respect, but they don't get the respect. But you know, that's why you just gotta get the cash up front, like if you want these beats, boom, send me the cash, nigga. The fuck. I ain't no motherfucking trial demo or something like I don't know. I fuck with Cardi though. I definitely fuck with Cardi. So I'm kinda just like, fuck it. And I, I also fuck with Milan just cause that nigga dude got some hot beats. I checked out some other his beats when I heard about this shit. But yeah, uh, I'm hot as hell right now. So yeah, uh, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out. Five minute man, I'm in your bitch and then I'm out, gone. All I need is five minutes in or out her mouth. Is she talking crazy, nigga? I just kick her out. This a one where I'm bout, bet I knock her pussy out. Bow.